I would like to solve this question. Show that these two lines are skew lines and uh, find the distance between them. So I have two lines, L1 and L2, and I have parametric equations um, of both lines. So to check if there are skew lines or not, first I need to see if they are parallel or not, and then if they have intersection or not. If they are parallel or if they have intersection they cannot be skew lines okay so first check if they are parallel or not so I have a line L1 with the direction vector so let me call the direction vector L1 which is uh, the coefficients of t in the parameter t which would be 1 6 and 2 and then I have an L2 with the direction vector L2. And the coordinates of L2 would be coefficients of the parameters in the parametric equation of L2, which would be 2, 15, and 6. Okay, to check if they are parallel or not, I need to check their um, cross product. So I write the cross product of L1 and L2. So it would be I j k coordinates of um, l1 coordinates of l2 and i'm gonna compute the cross product which would be i times uh, i'm gonna remove the row and column that contains i which would be 6 2 15 6 minus j the minor would be the row and column that uh, contains j, I need to remove them and I left with 1, 2, 2, 6 and the same for k. I'm going to remove the row and column containing k and I get this one. So it would be i. Now to compute that, I have this. So it would be 36 minus 30 minus j which would be 6 minus 4 plus k, which would be 15 minus 12. So the coordinates would be 6, and then I have a 2 in here with another negative, would be negative 2 and 3. Okay, so since um, the length of the cross product is not 0, it means that the angle between them is not zero. Why? It's just because you can check. Um, the length of the cross product would be the length of L1, the length of L2, and the sine theta. Okay? This is the length of this is not zero. So the magnitude of the cross product or the length of it is not zero. This is the length of L1. L1 is not a zero vector, so the length is not zero. The length of L2 is not zero as well. And so sine of theta um, is not zero, which means that theta, the angle between two vectors, is not zero. So they are not parallel. So they are not parallel. Let's check if they have intersection or not. So how can I find intersection of two vectors? I need to <clears throat> set all the x coordinates equal to each other, all the y coordinates equal to each other, and all the z coordinates equal to each other. In that case, I get three equations with two variables. Let me write this. So 1 plus t equals to 1 plus 2s. 1 plus 6t equals to 5 plus 15s and 2t equals to negative 2 plus 6s. I have three equations, two variables. So I need to find a t and s that satisfies this equation. Let me try to find it. From the first one, t is equal to, I'm going to uh, cancel out this, t equals to 2s. I'm going to replace t in the second equation with 2s, so I get 6. 2s. I didn't skip any steps so that you can follow me easily. So it would be 1 plus 12s equals to 5 plus 15s. 
So 5 goes on the other side, 12 goes on the other side. So it would be negative 4 over 3 would be S. So I found this one as my S. I'm going to put S into here. So in that case, my T would be negative 8 over 3. Okay. Now let me check if these two satisfies the third equation. So 2... Let me write with this. So 2 times negative 8 over 3 is negative 2 plus 6, negative 4 over 3. Let me check. This is negative 16 over 3. How about this part? This part is negative 2 minus 24 over 3, which is 8. So... In this part, I have negative 10, okay? And on the left part, I have negative 16 over 3. Okay, what does it tell me? It tells me that um, the T and S does not satisfy the, this equation, which means that there is no specific point that um, is intersection of both lines. So I don't have... Like this case, if this is L1, this is L2, I cannot find a point that is the point of intersection because I couldn't find a T and S that satisfies um, these equations. Okay, so they don't have intersection, so no intersection, which means that there is Q. So based on this and that, the lines. L1 and L2 are skew lines. Now I want to find the distance between these two skew lines. But before that, let me try to graph them. I'm going to pick a point in here when t equals to 0. I get 1, 1, 0. Pick another point with t equals to 1. I get 2, 7, and 2. And I'm going to pick another point in um, L2 with s equals to 0, 1, 5, negative 2. And another point in here with s equals to 1. So I get 3, 20, and 4. Okay. Now... I'm going to graph a line passing through A and B, graph another line passing through C and D, and see if they're skew or not. Okay, as you see here, um, with the point A and B, I have the line L1. Let me make this one a little smaller so that you see L1 and L2. So with A and B, I have L1. With C and D, I have L2, and they are for sure not parallel, but from here, it looks like that they have intersection, but if you go closer, you see that they don't have any intersection, okay? This point is not an intersection point, okay? So they are skew lines. So skew lines are like this. As you see, I can have a plane passing through L1, a plane containing L2, and these two planes are parallel, okay? So skew lines, they don't live in just one plane. They live in two parallel planes. Okay, let me just show it to you one more time. These two are skew lines. Okay. Now, I'm going to... Graph a plane, okay, this is one plane containing L1, for example. I have another plane in here containing L2, okay? And to find the distance between L1 and L2, I just need to find the distance between these two parallel planes, okay? So... How do I do that? <clears throat> first, I'm 
First of all, look at here. I have a direction vector on L1, and the direction vector of L1 would be the vector V1, and it would be the coefficients of t that are coordinates of uh, the direction on vector of L1. And for L2, I have V2, the direction vector, the coefficients of S would be the coordinates of V2, okay? And the cross product of V1 and V2 gives me a vector that is perpendicular to both, like this vector. That is perpendicular to both. So let me find the cross product of V1 and V2, V1 cross product with V2, it would be I, J, K, and then coordinates of V1, coordinates of V2, minus 6, so it would be I times, 5, uh, times um, 36 minus 30, minus J, times 6 minus 4, plus K, times 15 minus 12, 3. So that's a cross product, which would be a vector that is perpendicular to both, like this vector, V1 cross V2. Okay. Now let me pick one point in L1, like this, point A, for example, let me pick another point in here, like the point C that we already uh, choose. And I'm going to have the vector AC. Okay. As you see, if I find the projection of the vector AC over the cross product vector, let me call it D. If I find the projection of AC over D, it would be something like this vector. And the length of that projection vector gives me the distance between these two skew lines. Great. So let me find AC first. The AC would be the coordinates of C, 1, 5, negative 2, minus the coordinates of A, negative 1, negative 1, negative 0. So AC is the vector 0, 4, and negative 2. So now I need to find the projection of AC over the vector D, which would be what? Which would be AC dot D over the length of D square, okay? And this is the scalar because the dot product is a number, the length is a number, so this is just one number, and I'm going to multiply it by the vector d. So that's the projection vector. But what I need is the length of that projection vector, okay? So um, I'm going to put the length of that projection vector. This is a number, so... It would be just the absolute value of that number. Then I have the length of d square. This is a positive number, so the absolute value of that would be the number itself and the length of d. So this one with one of the power in here would be canceled. So I left with ac dot product with d absolute value of that over the length of d. That's the distance. It would be AC, which would be 0, 4, negative 2, dot product with the vector D. The vector D is the cross product, which is 6, negative 2, and 3, over the length of D, the length of the cross product, which would be 6 square, negative 2 square, plus 3 square. So it would be 0 times 6 minus 8 minus 6 
over 36 plus 4 plus 9, which would be 49. So I have negative absolute value of negative 14 over 7. So it would be 2. So the distance between these two skew lines would be 2.